Hey y'all, it's Chris and Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. I always make my homemade chicken and dumplings and today I'm going to show you a shortcut. My mama started using canned biscuits for her dumplings when she got older and could not stand long enough in the kitchen to make fresh homemade dumplings. So I'm going to show you a shortcut chicken and dumpling tonight. Now, today, earlier, I put a whole chicken in my Instant Pot. And that's a little bit of a shortcut, too, because I normally cook it on top of the stove. And I put the whole chicken in here. I covered her up to her little hips, put her breast side down. And then I put her on uh, meat stew, pressed the start button, and she cooked in there for 30 minutes under pressure. Now... After it come off pressure, I let it cool down some. And I picked the chicken off the bone. I put enough broth on the top of it a while ago so it wouldn't dry out. So when you take your chicken off the bone, don't just let it sit in a plate and get dry. Put it in a bowl like that and put some of the broth over the top. Now this is the rest of my broth and it's got some chicken skin and onion and celery and all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do, right quick, cause you gotta have good broth to make good dumplings, even if you are doing shortcut, is we're going to drain this broth into my pot here. And we're just gonna pick this right back up. And you know all these cool things, of course I have on my website, somebody sent me this. Isn't it beautiful for my birthday? Oh, the big pot? Yes, yeah. isn't it gorgeous? It's a Martha Stewart. Cast iron enameled in the beautiful red. I know I like red. Great. So we're gonna put the lid on this and let that broth come to a boil. Now, what if somebody don't wanna pick the chicken off the bone and do all that, I mean, should okay. they just get? They can use broth that you buy, but I would get bone broth, uh -huh. okay? And you can buy your rotisserie chicken and pick the chicken off the bone. Okay. Or you can, um, if you want to do chicken breasts, the bad thing about those is there's no skin or nothing in them. So if you're gonna cook chicken without bone, put some butter in it. You seen how much, see how much yellow is floating on the top of this? That's the chicken fat. Mm -hmm. And there was plenty of it over here in the other pot. Just put your stick of butter in it. Hmm. Okay, and it's gonna be good. Now, while we're at it, let's go ahead and add some salt and pepper to the broth because I did put, whenever I boil a chicken, and this is on the recipe, um, if you wanna download it. The only difference is you won't be making homemade dumplings. But I always add some bouillon to it, salt and pepper. We're gonna pepper it. I didn't actually add any pepper, I just added bouillon to it. We're gonna put some salt in it. And now what we're gonna do is put a can of cream of chicken soup. Now Granny did it and Mama didn't, but Tammy does. And I'm gonna tell you, I've been told my chicken and dumplings is the best ever by a lot of people. And not only that, but Chris's grandmother Mm -hmm. was in her 80s and I made them for her every Christmas and she said they were more like her mama's chicken and dumplings than anybody's and it had a can of cream of chicken soup in it so mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with it. It's optional though if you don't want to put it in there don't. Now you said you already put bouillon. Yes. Okay. So that can of cream of chicken just gives a little bit of flavor and it helps it get a little creamier when we go to put our dumplings in there. Now when you put dumplings in this broth, it needs to be boiling. So we're gonna put the lid on it and let it start boiling. I love my new pot. All right, and all we're gonna to do today is use some canned biscuits. Do you want you me on this side? Body. Okay. Yeah. open them. Now, the key to biscuits, if you're going to do it this way, woo! Sounds fun, don't it? Is you need to get the, the 
flaky kind? No, 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 no. Not the flaky kind. Oh. The Southern Homestyle Biscuit. You don't want to get the ones that's got layers. You huh. want to get the ones that you can't pull apart in like, I mean, it's harder to pull them apart. Really? And they got little pieces of shortening in them. No. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They used to make them all that way, except for Hungry Jack, okay? Hungry Jack was the only layered biscuit when I was younger. Now they're all layered. And the only ones that ain't layered are the real cheap ones that you can get four packs of or the Southern style. Okay. So we're gonna just put out a little bit of self-rising flour and I use self-rising because it's gonna make our dumplings thicken. And if you don't have self-rising, yes, of course you can use regular flour. And we're just gonna take these biscuits and we're going to flour them. Now you're just doing that so it'll get thick in the... Well, in I'm the, about to roll them out. you got to roll your dumplings out. No, I mean you're putting the flour on them so that they'll... Oh, yeah. Get well, the, you don't want them to stick to the counter either. Oh, okay. I mean, they're sticky a little bit. So if you're going to roll them some, Mama did roll them out. Okay. Now, if you was real lazy, you could pinch them off and throw them in there and make big fat dumplings. What? But... We're not going to do that. We're not going to call people lazy. Well, <laughs> my mom did yeah. this one. Yeah. Let me wash this off. It's been up there looking pretty. Might have some dust on it. I don't normally use this one. I usually use my wood one when I'm cooking, but I don't know why. I just wanted to pick this one up. All right. I thought it might flatten these fat biscuits. I don't want you to have to use my elbow grease to use this big old heavy marble thing. All right, so just roll them out. Woo, them biscuits was hard to make, wouldn't they? This is how mama done it. Now, a lot of y'all too lazy to even boil a chicken. But I promise if you take the time out to boil your own chicken, your dumplings is gonna taste more like grannies, okay? If you wanna go on and buy that broth and do it the other way, you can, and they'll be edible and they'll probably even be good, but they won't be as good as mine. Okay, that's the difference. Just telling you the truth. Tammy tries not to sugarcoat some stuff. Woo, it's a Friday night. Daddy went fishing today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. He saw some tarpon, but he didn't catch none. I made a cake today. Y'all gonna get to see it uh, Sunday. It's gonna be pretty. So y'all look forward to that. It's gonna be a black forest cake. If you like cherries and chocolate, you're going to enjoy it. And even if you don't like them, y'all, watch it for me. <laughs> All right. Because I worked hard to make it for you. Actually, I made a cake mix. This is going to be an easy cake recipe. It ain't going to be hard. I'm doing easy recipes this week, ain't I? Yes, I am. Now, we're just going to do this fast. You can make them big like that, or if you want to, you can cut them twice down the middle. Hmm. However you want to do it, okay? Can you stack them on top of each other and do it? Or would they stick? Uh, they might stick. I'm gonna flour them one more time because mm -hmm. you want them to thicken up your broth, okay? Mm -hmm. You make some little ones and make some big ones and make some just do whatever you want to do. Hmm. Now, I used to wouldn't cut stuff on this countertop, but when we first moved in, me and Chris, we redone it, sanded it, and finished it. Now, I don't even care. No, we've had it with it. I just use it like I, like I ought to use it. Well, that one's getting pulled apart. I kind of went crazy with that one. One didn't get cut good. I hope this is cutting these good. Maybe I should bear down a little bit more. 
Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dumplings, put some flour on them. Now look at all them good old dumplings and they come right out of can. And believe it or not, these are really good. These are so much better than those frozen dumplings you buy. Those, I'm gonna be honest with you, those frozen dumplings that you buy taste like noodles and they don't have, hardly have any flavor. I'm sorry if you like them. If you like them, you're gonna love. My homemade dumplings or even these are really good. Mama loved them like this. Now see how that's boiling? That's how you want it to be when you start dropping them. And once we get these in there and they start boiling good, then we'll add us some chicken. Good thing about putting some flour on them is you ain't gotta sit there, stand here and put them each in there individually either. A lot of people do them this way. A lot of people use the biscuits, oh, canned yeah. biscuits. We get lots of comments where people will say they make their dumplings with canned biscuits. Now, I only bought one can of biscuits. Maybe I should have bought more because it ain't going to make that many. I had a lady at work tell me, she goes, I made your chicken and dumplings. They were so good. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, that's good. And she goes, she goes, of course, I use canned biscuits. She said, I wasn't going to do all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, a lot of y'all won't do the extra mile and make the dumplings homemade. And I'm going to tell you, um, it takes some practice. It's not as easy as making a biscuit because if you don't get them the right thickness, they tend to fall to pieces in your pot. And if you use canned biscuits, if you've, if you've failed at making my homemade biscuits, dumplings, my homemade biscuit dumplings, and you can give these a try because I'm gonna tell you, uh, they don't fall apart on you, you know, and you don't have to worry so much about them falling apart. Now I'm gonna take my chicken. Um, and put on top of these. And I don't even know if I want to use all this chicken. Yes, I can. Me and Daddy can freeze this. Or the kids can come get them. Let's just put it all in there. Y'all want to? This is going to be a big old pot. A dumplings. Well, you got a good big pot to put it in. Yes, I do. Thanks to my wonderful viewers. Now you're going to put the lid on this. Don't y'all just love it when I make this exciting? Now you're gonna put the lid on this. And let these simmer for a good 10 to 15 minutes before you can eat them. All right, you can see how fluffy these things are and it's coming to a good boil again since we've added that chicken and stuff. And it's, I had a lot of broth in these. I may actually have to thicken it a little bit more. And uh, some of y'all don't get your broth thick enough. This is such a big bag of dumplings, I could have probably put two cans of cream of chicken in it, but I don't want to do that now because it's, um, I just don't. So I'm gonna thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch. It'll give us something to do while we're waiting on the dumplings to get done. So I'm gonna put um, some cornstarch and a little bit of milk, and we're gonna thicken this up a little bit, okay? This is my favorite way to um, thicken stuff. You're having fun, Daddy. All right, let me get some milk. So, we're trading places. So I just take a couple of heaping. I thicken my cream corn, I thicken my roast. I thicken a lot of stuff with cornstarch. Now a lot of people like to use flour. It takes twice as much flour as it does cornstarch and flour also makes it cloudy looking. Cornstarch makes it pretty and clear. So anytime you are making an actual dessert, you wanna make sure and use cornstarch so that it's nice and clear and pretty. 
but when you're doing a roast or chicken and dumplings or something like that, you can always grab the flour, okay? But I personally love to use the cornstarch. You can tell by how big a container I have. Because it don't take as much of it to do the job. Now, you really need to put it in something real cold, no matter what you do it with. I even use it in my blackberry cobbler, and I've had people go, oh my gosh, I've never seen anybody put milk in blackberry cobbler. And I guess my mama did because she always thickened it with a little milk. Mama put dumplings in blackberry cobbler too. Now we're gonna see how thick this gets with this cornstarch before we, if it don't get thick enough for your liking, then you can always do it again. Never give up. We're gonna taste this and see if I've got enough salt in it while it finishes boiling these dumplings. They're almost ready, really. It doesn't take them long. Now you can tell that the broth is not as clear, but I still want it thicker, so I'm gonna thicken it one more time. I want it thick like gravy. Mm. That's how I like mine. And then, We'll eat some dumplings. But I do need to taste it, put salt and pepper in it, and make sure it tastes good. The dumplings have to cook a, about, a, about 10 to 15 minutes to get done, because they're like little biscuits, okay? So it don't take them that long. Boy, what a big pot. And of course it's even better the next day like any kind of soup or chili or whatever. I personally like dumplings the first day the best. Really? I like yes. the next day. You do? I mean, I like them first. It's, isn't it funny how everybody's different? All right, while that simmers, once that cornstarch cooks a little bit, it'll turn a little more clear mm -hmm. looking. Um, I'm going to taste it and see if it's salty enough and got enough pepper in it. perfect. Hmm. How do I do that? I don't know. How do I do that? Mamas just know what they're doing, don't they? Ooh, don't that look good, y'all? It needs more dumplings. I should have had two cans of biscuits. So keep that in mind if you're feeding a big crowd because everybody loves the dumplings the best. And, uh, I don't normally make them this way, so I didn't know how many I should get. All I got that's canned in here is croissants. I think I got some croissants. Actually, I don't even have any croissants. I don't normally buy a lot of canned breads. Okay, y'all ready to get us up some? They're ready. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn them off. Now, you really need to, especially if you thicken them, be careful and don't burn them. Especially if you put two batches of dumplings in here because they're gonna burn easy. All right, so be careful and don't let them burn and stick on the bottom. Okay. Now, I know it's summertime, but I guarantee you one thing, when I was a kid, it wouldn't matter, it wouldn't matter if it was 100 degrees and we didn't have air conditioning growing up. Uh, I would have ate chicken and dumplings anytime my parents fed it to me, I can guarantee you that. Look at those, aren't they pretty? The dumplings are pretty. And you know, I haven't had them like this since my mama made them. My mama's been gone for a while. And it was a long time before mama cooked with it, Chris. Oh yeah. It's probably been since 2000, probably 12-ish, yeah. since I had my mama's mm -hmm. cooking. And uh, probably about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Because mama was memory care. She, she had a real bad dementia for a long time and couldn't cook. But I want you to look how pretty that dumpling is. And I didn't even make it homemade, y'all. I'm gonna cut it in half and taste it. They get pretty big, don't they? You could cut them up in a little bitty pieces, couldn't you? When oh you... yeah, oh yeah. Let me put me a little chicken on here now. This is hot, so I don't wanna get burnt. But I ain't gotta keep y'all on here long. 
Don't that look good? Mm-hmm. I don't want to get burnt. You don't have to. It is hot. Yeah, you don't have to get burnt. Plus, no. <laughs> well, we're so, live. It don't matter. You still don't have to get burnt. If you're noticing my new glasses, I had a company tell me if I would wear a pair of their glasses. Um, they give my customers or my viewers a discount. But y'all, I got to make sure I lock them before I give them to I know y'all gonna start asking about my glasses. That's why I brought it up because everybody always talks about my glasses. This is a different company than I've ever used. This is the first time I've ever worn them this afternoon. So I'm not gonna recommend something unless I absolutely am spot on 100% into it. So uh, y'all gotta give me time to review these glasses. But I can tell you one thing, my I Buy Direct company is spot on and uh, you can buy them glasses all day long, but go through my link on the website on the homepage. It's right under my picture. They're good. They're good, they're a lot more salty, of course, you know, than a real dumpling would be. And the consistency is different they're delicious if you want chicken and dumplings they're every bit as probably good as most you've ever had but they're really not quite as good as my homemade ones mm. so i hope you've enjoyed me and chris making chicken and dumplings on a summer night shortcut style with canned biscuits. Now I'm cooking like my mama did when she got older. We'll see you next time on Collard Valley Cooks where we cook like our mamas did. Bye, I love ya. See you next time, come back and see us. Come back and watch our Black Forest